That's a vibe. That's a vibe. That's a vibe. Oh, that's a vibe. Yeah, yeah. That's a vibe. It's a vibe. Hey, y'all. So today's video is going to be a beginner friendly drugstore makeup look we've all been there when we just started out um and we didn't have a lot of money to put into makeup or maybe you're just starting out and you do have a lot of money to put into makeup but you don't know what to buy i'm going to show you some of my favorite products and i'm going to show you that you can achieve a beautiful face makeup look whatever you want to call it you can do all of that you can slay with the drugstore so if you guys want to see how i got this look right here Definitely keep watching and um, subscribe if you like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. And in the next clip. So, yeah. Alright guys, so to start out, I'm going to use my Mario Badescu um, Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. And this isn't technically drugstore, but you can get it from Ulta. And it's only like $5 for the small bottle. So, I think it's actually cheaper. It's like there might be one cheaper than this, but this size is like $5. So it's pretty inexpensive, especially compared to like the Elf Primer Mist is like $6. So yeah. All right, to prime my face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin and the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. You can get this from Target and from Ulta. So it is still technically drugstore, I guess. Alright, so next I'm going to go in and color correct and I'm going to use the NYX um, Conceal Correct and Contour. This is in deep and I'm just going to use this to color correct under my eyes and some of the dark spots I have on my face. And I'm going to use a little bit of the orange shade but I'm also going to mix it with this light shade right here. For foundation, I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using my Milani um, Conceal and Perfect in Spiced Almond. And then I'm going to be using my Infallible Pro Matte in Soft Sable. Alright, to conceal, I'm going to use these two by Wet n Wild, and I have medium deep tan and dark cocoa, and that's 844 and 845. So, I'm going to put 844 or medium deep tan under my eyes to kind of brighten and highlight. Color makes messy right now, but it's fine. Alright, I'm going to use deep dark cocoa, deep cocoa. Alright, I'm going to use dark cocoa to um, conceal spots on my face. Alright, next I'm going to jump over to eyebrows and I'm going to use these two products by the Ulta Beauty brand. Um, it's the Brow Tint in Deep, in, yeah, in Deep and then the Slim Brow Pencil in Dark Brown. So, let's brush them up. Yeah, I finally got my eyebrows done. It was so horrible and the lady I went to was questionable to say the, to say the least. I mean... She like, she did them, but when I left, I still had eyebrow wax. 
Like, yo, she was sketch. Or, she wasn't sketch, she was just like very efficient and very brisk. Which I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't really want to talk to somebody who's ripping hair out of my body, but still, you know. A hey, how you doing or something would have been nice. Don't know if they look even, but it's fine because, yeah. Alright, then I'm going to take the brow gel and just run through them. I feel like the gel does most of the work for me. Like, I really just got to keep them waxed and then put gel in them. And the gel is just like, psh, boop, done. I feel like this brow looks dark. Does this brow look darker? This brow looks darker to me. I feel like maybe it is. Let's. I don't think I want it on this dark. <sighs> Alright, next I'm going to use my e.l.f. Dew Drops and apply these to my cheeks. So we're going to glow today, apparently. So I did not moderate that glow. So we're just going to be really glowy, apparently, today. Um, and that's fine. I'm going to set my under eyes, which I probably should have done earlier, with this HD Set and Forget by Ruby Kisses. Um, I can't remember if this is actually good or not, or if it has flashback, but we're going to find out today. Go ahead and set my eyes too. Alright, so for us today, because like I said, we're going to be sticking with Drugstore, I wanted to use my Comfort Zone palette, but this does not have any matte shades in it. So for matte shades, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild palette, um, and it is Drinking a Glass of Shine. This is a specialty palette that came out a couple months or years ago. I know, I'm a hoarder. Nevertheless, um, if you have a transition color, go ahead and use it, but I don't have one that's Drugstore that I would use, so I'm just going to pull one out of here. Alright, so I'm good. just going to take this eyelid color here and apply that to my crease. Alright, for brow bone, I'm also going to grab this color here that says brow bone and just apply that underneath my brow bone. Alright, so now I'm going to hop over to the Comfort Zone palette and I'm going to use this eyelid color here. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger because that's what we're going to do today. I used to live for this color, you guys. Can you see that though? Like, y'all, seriously. It's legit. Like, the color is legit. Okay. Now I'm actually going to go back into that same palette and I'm going to grab the, what's supposed to be the crease color, so this one right here. And I'm going to smoke that along my bottom lash line. Okay, so because I want this look to be beginner friendly, I'm not actually going to skip liner liner today. But I'm going to go into this definer color from the Drake in a Glass of Shine. It's just a matte black. And what i also has just a plain one. I think it's called Panther um, that you could use as well. But I figured since... I want to keep this as simple as possible. I just use a black out of here. So I'm just going to take a small brush, dip it in the black, and then smudge. Such a difference, but it's so, like, minor. You know, like it's such a minor thing, but it makes such a difference when it comes to eye makeup. Alright, so I'm going to skip go back to my face and I'm going to use a blush and the blush I'm using today is another Wet n Wild product. Y'all, I promise this wasn't sponsored. Um, I just happen to love Wet n Wild products. They're super affordable and super pigmented so 
I'm going to use this blush here and it is pearlescent pink. It's got a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. Alright, so for highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Fragrance Collection um, one called Hollywood Boulevard. And I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the So Hollywood by the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I have both, but I never like tried, like swatched them to see if they both were. But I read it on Pinterest, so it's got to be right, right? Look at how extra the glow is, y'all. Yeah. Alright, so next I'm also going to go back into this Hollywood Boulevard palette. And I'm going to apply this to my inner corners as a highlight. Alright, yeah, so to set my face, I'm going to use this Milani Face Powder. And this is in Dark Tan 07. And it's supposed to be like a multitasker, I think. Yeah, the multitasker face powder. Alright, so for lashes, I'm going to curl them with this eyelash curler from Fabric 21, which is my favorite because it has these little teeth right here, so it separates my lashes as it curls them. Alright, and then for mascara, I'm going to use two. I'm going to use this Skinny Mascara by Mabel... By Wet and Wild, and then the Colossal Big Shot by Maybelline. Alright, so for lips, I'm going to use two products. Um, this one is the Koki Cosmetics. Um, the color, it does not have on it. Oh, no, it does. I'm sorry. The color Suede. And then over it, I'm going to use Choco Loco by Ruby Kisses. And it's just a Jellylicious lip gloss. Now, this I actually got from a beauty supply store. So, I don't know if it actually, if they sell it in, like, real stores. Or if you got to go to a beauty supply store to get it. But, yeah. Alright you guys, so that completes this look. What I'm going to do next is just spray my face and we'll be done. Alright you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up so that I know that you did like it. Leave me some love down in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video.